Yo guys, what is up? It's Teacher's Game 2 coming at you again with another video here. <clears throat> that was terrifying. And I am on my Dino A Day review series and I am finally to the Ecoos. Now, this is probably arguably one of everyone's favorite very first tames in the game. Now, a lot of people question, you know, why? Why does that matter? What is the point of this guy? This guy gives you access to knocking literally everything in the game out <clears throat> instantly. Check this out. So, when you hop on one, first and foremost, these guys have a butt kick. Now, that butt kick does a ton of damage. They also have their regular attack, which is kind of like their, I guess, just AoE bite attack. They can also do like a little Winnie and Nay right there, like you see, which is kind of cool, I guess. But that's not like the cool stuff. I'll show you the cool stuff in a second here. As soon as you put on a saddle, they become a mobile. A mobile. No, this is not a joke. Boom. They become a mobile motor and pestle. So early game things are amazing for you, which is just super nice because you can literally make whatever you need to. Which is really awesome, obviously, because making whatever you need to, like lassos, <clears throat> you can see this, uses the same way as Ebola, and you can carry things pretty sweet. Now let's talk about what you can level in these guys. They have really good base stats. I never bother with anything other than maybe a couple of points into health and a low hood into melee. Now, weight can be a little bit nice, so you can, I guess, let's say, put it up to a thousand if you want to do that. You don't have to. But if you crank melee on these guys, a whole different level of just crazy happens. So, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and, you know, run through our woods. You can increase movement speed if you want to as well. But jumping with these guys actually increases their speed. And as long as you got a little bit of stamina, you can climb and run pretty much as fast as you want to. Now, this is a 150 tame, so keep that in mind. So it is a pretty good one. Unbred, though, so you can get some really crazy war horses going on that people get some really fast and some really high melee. And what they'll do is they'll pretty much knock out any tame you want. So check this out. Again, remember that butt kick that I was talking about? I'm going to position myself underneath this guy. And we're going to go ahead and start kicking. He will start to run, and he's out. He's out. Notice how I didn't have to use a single arrow. He took about a thousand damage for a Bronto, which takes a ton of torpidity. And this guy can literally go on taming sprees when you're level one. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to make saddles for him, but they can go on some crazy taming sprees. Now, I'm going to try and get this Gallimimus. They're super fast. Eh, he's not going to get caught. I tried. But anyways, you see the point. You can literally knock out just about whatever you want with the Ekus. Not only that, but another reason people love these things early, early game. They are really good at gathering berries. Now, they can also gather pretty much everything you need them to, which is quite nice. Um, just run around, and they'll pick up a lot of berries. And then they'll get thatch, they'll get wood. And they give you quick access to hide as well, because you can knock things out, kill them. Even high level things if you get a good enough horse. So you can see there's that thatch and wood that I'm talking about. Back up on into this guy. One kick knocked him out. But if I want to gain some levels, I just kick him a few more times, pop out my hatchet, and then boom, I have access to whatever I need. Now I used to, now this is true, um, when the game came out a while ago, I bred a couple series of horses. And I used to have a dragon trap, or a wyvern trap, I guess, technically. I would aggro the wyverns in, hop on my horse, and knock them out with my horse because they can't really hit you super well if you build the right trap and they knocked them out in like 10 hits these things are crazy another pretty awesome stat about them i'm pretty sure not 100 percent, so don't hold me to this one i'm pretty sure they ignore armor stats so even somebody wearing really good flak is going to get quickly knocked out by one of these unless they've leveled a lot of tor i guess fortitude which increases their capable torpor damage taken now, I wonder if you can knock out a Megalodon. Let's find out. I've never actually tried. So, Megalodon. Nope, I can't because maybe if I can get on top of this right here. Are you standing yet? Oh, you're standing? I don't think I can. Nah, he's running. So, if you can get something to come close enough to you, maybe if you're on a boat, 
you somehow build a way for your horse to stand on the boat ledge and he's attacking you, you can knock him out. But Also, if you're needing one of the early game tames that are required, like a Pteranodon, Pteranodons are super easy to knock out with these things. Just stand in front of them, bowl them if you can, and then night-night. Boom. Night-night. And you can just leave a spree of knocked out tames all over the place and then get your everything you need. Just amazing early game. Like when it comes to early game tames, the Ekus is just amazing. Okay, leave me alone, Pegomastax. I hate Pegomastax. They are just so frustrating. Night night. So, anyways, that's why you see I've raised the stamina, or you can raise the stamina so you don't have to worry about that kind of shenanigans. But also, you can break out your bola. Let's see here. See how good I am with this thing. High speed chase. Oh. Is there something behind me there? Oh, that is a terror bird. Yo! Gotcha. So, you can drag him all over the place and he can't do anything about it. Or, you know, just get rid of your bola because, yeah, it's fun. So, we're going to go knock these guys out. Hi, night. Now here is really what the lasso is good for. So, now that I've knocked this guy out, I'll go ahead and take him wherever I need to because I can drag him behind me. Which is kind of fun and crazy to think about because I can literally just knock something out and bring it to a safe area. Which is really nice, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and leave him there. Knock out my Pteranodon. Break out my lasso. And boom, I'll bring him to a safe place. You can see, as long as I'm holding on to him, he is joining me, which is really quite convenient. And as soon as I hit right trigger, I guess right click, whatever you're using, he stops. So these are just amazing early game tames. Like, the first thing you should do if you're ever on Ragnarok, spawn in the highlands, get some of these uh, easy, easy to grab carrots and the farm and stuff like that. And get yourself a horse because these things are just crazy. I mean, this is one times vanilla right now. You can see how many berries I'm gathering. Really awesome early game stuff, so I can make everything I need. Even just like it's a good area to hide out because wherever horses are, there tends to be a lot of little cracks and hidey areas, and you can get some awesome early game stuff. Level yourself up, get some stuff, and then oh yeah, I forgot to mention this fight. Uh, nope, nope, I don't have any spoiled meat. But again, you can make all of your stuff on the go, which is pretty intense. So you can like craft, run, knock out, do literally everything you need. I've always wanted to do this. All right, anyways, teaches game two.